guys, welcome back again. Dave's mentioned welcome back again for another video. Welcome back again to the channel that is your home for tech, toys, and talk. And of course, the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. We're back again with another unbox, another G.I. Joe classified. This time we're doing a Cobra figure. And this is the Crimson Bat. Now, I'm not an army builder, so as far as the bats go, I think I'm just going to do one of each kind. Uh, this is my first bat. I actually didn't have a bat the first time around. I had friends who had bats the first time around. When I say the first time around, I'm talking back in the 80s. When we actually had the crimson, when there was the crimson bats, we had the figures with the O-rings. Uh, this I picked up at Target uh, several months back when I picked up Duke and Ram. Uh, and this was on sale, and so was that. So let's go ahead and get right on into this, guys. Now, this is the windowless box. I know, I know, I know. Thank God they're going to be reverting back to the proper boxes. It would help if I sliced this, the, the tape off first, right? And hey, what good YouTuber, toy collector, boy scout would be unprepared? I got my Swiss Army knife. No pun intended. And yes, I know those who are inbox collectors, you may want to turn away. Okay, cool. I actually like these. I like that they're giving us these kind of foot lockers for the accessories. Because I have the one from Duke and Ram. And I like putting extra accessories for my Joes and Cobra figures in those, respectfully. So that is pretty cool. And that's all we get in there, obviously. Tons of amazing art on the box. Of course, you know... Like any robot, you know, he's he's in his storage unit, his coffin, if you will. And then we're going to have to get the uh, little little twigs, little cardboard twine that they developed. Yeah, we want to reduce our plastic footprint, but you're not reducing your paper footprint, are you? I'm just saying. That's kind of like how I feel about it. Now, I mean, if you want to be creative, you could, you could keep this box, okay? You could keep the box... Okay, and my suggestion would be keep this as is, maybe put some painter's tape over this part, and we could paint the rest of the silver so it actually looks like a storage charging unit for the bat. That's just one little thought. I mean, it's a crazy thought, but that could be something you might want to do. You know, painting the outside and this bottom and the top like a silver, or even do like a crimson color to go perfectly with this. Like it's a crimson uh, charging unit, but I think adding a little bit of different color will, will, because I mean, he's already, you know, like Deadpool red right now. So I just think that that would be way, way, way better. So let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, I'm just going to tear, tear right into this. There we go. Nothing left in the paper. So, obviously, this is part of his backpack. We have the alternate. You know, we got the little chest cover here. We can always take that off to reveal his circuits. We have a damage cover here. I can't, uh, which one would you guys choose? Would you go with the perfectly intact or the damaged look now anyone who knows me knows i'm all about the weathering and the realism i kind of like this one i really do you know what do you guys think also let's take a look at the detail on here they have a lot of detail and again i've said this before they've killed it with i mean the paint apps the sculpts, they've done an amazing, amazing, amazing job here. I kind of like how everything's shattered here. So I might be leaning more towards that. Let's take the accessories. Of course, we got the, you know, the hand attachment. We can take the hand off and put the claw there. Uh, that's always something we could do because obviously they have the robotic hands. You know, we could do something like this. You know, it's something we could do. We don't have to, but it's something we could do. You know, and 
again, like with some of the other figures that I've unboxed, I am half tempted on some of the rifles and machine parts to do a little bit of weathering. Like if I do, if I do go with the battle damage, okay, we'll pop his head on there. Okay, that's on there, and we can go with the uh, damaged chest piece. If I can get that pegged in there, there we go. Um, if it stays on, there we go, snapped on. So what I'm tempted to do, because he's already got this damage, is maybe hit a little bit of a, some silver or brown ember in certain parts to make it make him look even more weathered than what he really is. You know? Because I think a little bit of silver, maybe some, uh, not necessarily rusted parts, but uh, I think something like that would look pretty cool on him. Especially on the neck, it might add a little bit more contrast, make him look more robotic. What do you guys think about that? You think I'm crazy? Or you think that's a cool idea? I want to know. Of course, we got his uh, his other attachments here. Of course, we got, the, uh, we got his little handgun here, which we're going to just stow in his holster right here. And again, they've done a tremendous job with... The belts, like the belts aren't stuck in a the spot. They have some flexibility. They have some movement. Um, I think that's tremendous. They've done an amazing, amazing paint job. Uh, as far as the paint job goes, Hasbro's um, G.I. Joe Classified Series, they are freaking killing it. They are killing it. They are doing the best. And I love how each of these accessories are the accessories for the hand. But guess what? The backpack also works as storage. I love that. I mean, how awesome is that? You know, we're going to take the hand. There we go. We can have that right there. Uh, maybe it doesn't fit perfectly there. But maybe we put like one of his... Okay, so we... the little uh, flamethrower part we can throw right there. Maybe we throw uh, his robotic hand right there. And now he can still carry his his gear. If I can get this pegged in just right. There we go. So, I mean, the hand doesn't fit there perfectly because obviously we have this. So, we're just going to store that right on the back there. So, we have that. We're going to throw his hand back on. But, guys, what do you think about this? I'm loving, I'm loving this bat. But again, like with the robotic parts, I am seriously tempted to do some some weathering uh, on him. Even though he's, I mean, he he is already kind of weathered between the chest piece and the damaged helmet. But I just think this is awesome. Either I'm still in shock, you know, that I'm in GI Joe's, um, that you know I'm basically have something that I haven't had since I was a kid uh, am I still in shock with some of that possibly now let me ask you this now this one looks like it has a little bit of chipped or weathering here is that something you had on yours or is this like a defect of some kind I would really love to know because uh, the other one doesn't seem to have that let's do a little uh, little zoom right here Okay. I mean, we can clearly see that looks like some some of this is missing here, but then this one looks perfectly fine. So, um, is this something you've seen or no? Because if this is a defect, then I'll try and uh, send an email out to Hasbro on this. But uh, I mean, I'm still happy about this figure. I think this figure looks fantastic. And part of me is kind of tempted to just leave the circuits open like that. Or just keep the damaged uh, chest piece on. Yeah, it's it's just, that looks really weird. It looks really weird right there, you know? I mean, I'm not, I'm still, you know what, I, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this about a 9 out of 10 right now. Uh, the figure itself is great. Uh, the backpack doesn't fit on there perfectly perfect maybe if i push a little harder on there um it would be cool if i could have the hand on the back of here 
um, but that's not really something that it's doing. We got we got the more robotic type arm here, whereas this side this looks more humanoid like, you know. Um, but I think they did a great job on the paint. There's different levels of like red. On, I mean, this is a crimson bat after all, right? Uh, I just think that they did a tremendous job. I mean, take a look at stitching the details on the boots let's just zoom out so you guys get a more clearer picture um the legs yeah the legs are a little bit they were kind of like popping down kind of giving me the old o-ring kind of look uh but i think that i still think this is an amazing figure i really do love this um again i might do a little bit of uh weathering here because it looks like we got some cogs some more electronic equipment built into the back of his pack. And I just think that that should have a little bit more contrast, some, some coloring. What do you guys think? I want you guys to let me know in the comments section below. Let me know if you have the Crimson Bat. Have you made any modifications yourself to it? Or did you just leave it as is? And again, I really want to know your thoughts on this chess piece. Okay? Because uh, it's, I mean, like I said, I'm not really... I'm not hating on it, but it just seems that it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, if anything, I could see something like this being on the other piece, which is the weather piece, but it's not. So it just seems a little weird. So guys, please let me know in the comment section below if you've had any issues with any, any QC issues with the figures or not. And tell me, did you grab this guy? Did you grab more than one? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, guys, you know what you can do. If you guys want to reach out to me you got my socials right there on the screen you can hit me at dave's underscore dimension on instagram you can hit me at twitter at dimensions dave or dave or dimension daves and of course email me at daves dimension 78 at gmail.com you can always contribute to the channel that way or message me you can always message me if you have any thoughts suggestions figures ideas for anything past or present and also, if you guys want to help support the channel, we have a cash app. You can see that at the bottom of the screen and also in the video description below if you wish to help support the channel. But guys, until next time, you know, all I got to say is none of the G.I. Joe figures have disappointed. Even this, I'm not disappointed at. You know, I mean, I have other pieces that I can work with and I can run with. So I'm still giving him a 9 out of 10. Uh, the Hasbro line of G.I. Joe Classifieds, they are killing it. It's just the best. Purely the best. Um, I mean, I loved the Ghostbusters Plasma series, the, uh, the limited figures we got from that. But there are so many figures, and so far um, with G.I. Joe Classified, they're not disappointing, and I can see why so many people are falling in love with these figures. Um, it's just a great figure. And it brings back nostalgia. I mean, it's like taking a memory and cranking it up to 11. And that's what they're truly doing with this. But guys, until next time, you know what I'm going to say. I say it every single time. I want you guys to keep on busting. And I'm always going to catch you on the flip side. So take care. <laughs>